Hey, what's up everybody? Our Boots Games here, and today I'm going over the latest Minecraft snapshot. This is Snapshot 13W3A, and before I really get into uh, some of the real changes, I'll just show you. Let's go to the main menu. So, you might see that there's a, uh, a button missing, and I'm not gonna lie, didn't even know what was missing, or didn't even know what one was missing the first time I started it up but it is the texture pack so now you can change your texture packs in the game don't ask me what or where I got that texture pack because I don't really remember you can search it up because it's, it's real fun so onto the real changes this is the dropper looks a lot like the dispenser instead of having a surprised face it's got a happy face I know I'm not the only one that that thinks it looks like a face. But, first off, you might see it's basically the same as a dispenser. Still dispenses stuff at a pretty random rate. Or not rate, but if you, f if you fill the dropper up with, uh, with arrows, it actually dispenses the arrow itself instead of launching it. So this works with arrows, any, well, works with spawn eggs, anything that would normally have a different function it does something else so there you go so that's the the dropper um, oh yeah one thing um, I think in the past two snapshots the inventory worked a little differently um, it used to be where if you clicked and then released the mouse then that's when you would pick stuff up but thankfully they changed it back so it doesn't do that so you're gonna have a lot less misclicks and you can actually sort stuff through your inventory a lot better but you might still be wondering there's not much of a point of the uh, the dropper but the dropper can also put stuff directly into chests so I have a hopper here and a dropper, both of them going into a chest. And if you know how dispensers work, you know that if you have a powered, uh, a powered uh, comparator facing a dispenser, then it like rapid fires it. So this, the dropper actually dispenses quite a bit faster than uh, the item hopper. It's like 80% faster, I'd say. I didn't actually do the math, it's just kind of an estimate, so now it's done. And thankfully it doesn't click when it's dispensing items normally. So the hopper will also uh, dispense stuff into, uh, or place stuff into, uh, whoops, whoops, into uh, minecarts with chests in them, so there you go. That put five... I think I already, yeah, I already had some in there, so. It does only one at a time, so that can be helpful sometimes. Um, and wait, I'll go over that a little later. But, one thing about the, uh, the dropper, the chest hardly has to be in front of the, uh, the, uh, the dropper to actually put stuff in it, so that's kind of nice. Um, da. Uh, oh yeah, this is a, uh, a trapped chest next to a dropper, so every time you open it, a new item will be put into it. Pretty special. This is kind of just like demonstrating what it will do. If you have a, uh, a uh, detector rail right next to the dropper, then it'll put stuff in it. But, but uh, sometimes... I mean, you're probably never going to use this, but sometimes the the item hopper doesn't always take something out of this. So, um, I think that's it for the uh, the dropper. So let's go over this now. This is the uh, the hopper in minecart. I'll give you one guess on how to make this. So this works quite a bit like a uh, like a normal hopper. So if you have stuff on the ground, and of course that didn't make it there, 
and this goes over it, then it will or at least should pick it up. And I do have uh, stuff in this chest, so it does take stuff out of chests. Um, one thing, I'm pretty sure this is a glitch, but I was going to have just a bunch of crap like spill out onto these tracks and then these would uh these would pick them up but now here i'll get another one of these um so i feel if i put this down and then push it over it picks it doesn't even pick up the stone maybe it's just because it goes over the powered rail it could just be because of that Yeah, so apparently if it goes over a powered rail that is powered, then it doesn't pick stuff up. Hopefully that'll be fixed soon, because that kind of defeats half of the purpose of this. Um, other stuff that you can do with the hopper in the minecart. You can't put stuff from a chest into a item hop, a chest with item hopper through a block. But you can do it with uh, if there's a minecart with chest in it, and you can't actually do that with uh, with uh, a normal hopper. So that could help with some things. Um, it does it does put stuff into uh, the furnace, but since it does work like the hopper. You can only put it into the side, which puts it into the fuel spot. You can't put it anywhere else. Still think a hopper would be better than actually using that. Um, oh, right. Over here, I have uh, the TNT, the minecart with TNT in it. This has been changed quite a bit. So now, it used to be where if uh, the minecart went off of a track while it was moving it would just instantly blow up but now it actually falls and if it falls from a high enough height it will blow up as soon as it hits the ground but one thing that's pretty important if uh, the minecart lands or when the mine the TNT blows up it doesn't actually blow up what uh, the track is on, so it'll blow up right here, and it'll blow up all this stuff, but the track will still stay intact. So let's actually put a block there, and there we go. It does, however, blow up uh, a lever. I had to move the lever over here, because if it was over here, then it will blow up. But, that's really the, the main changes with the, the TNT minecart. But this, you might see, I have these, uh, these quartz pillars. What are they called? Pillar quartz blocks are actually placed sideways. So these work the same way you would place a log sideways. And I, I'm going to talk about this a little bit. Some people, and I'm also along with this, some people wish that... Uh, you would place logs and now another quartz or what are they called? Pillar quartz blocks. I'm always I'm always gonna get that mixed up. Some people wish they would be placed the same way you would place uh, pistons and it would go based on your direction. And I kind of agree with that, but I think there are actually times where uh, placing it on a separate side would be better than uh, being in a different location. I think there should be something like if you hold down control then it toggles between or if you just press I don't know if you hold down control then it like toggles between uh, the two ways that that would work so um, I think that's the main changes with all of this stuff there have been new changes with uh, some mobs and that's why I have all this stuff with me um, the skeleton despawned. What a shame. I'm still, yeah. Um, okay, let's go into easy mode. And it is daytime, so this zombie will catch on fire. 
So, I'm in easy mode. I think they still do the same damage. And he's on fire. And he sets you on fire when he punches you. I think if you're on a harder difficulty, and this will probably actually kill me, so I should probably find some water, or just die. Oh. So he'll, he'll hit me. Okay, I guess he doesn't always set me on fire, but he does set you on fire. Here, let me try to demonstrate it on a different difficulty. I better get some food before I die. Um... I think this is the one I want. I hope so. Oh! Just peel myself up correctly, or to the... High enough so that he doesn't kill me instantly. And even if it is nighttime... I'm gonna set it to night. If they're on fire, whether it's that time of the day, or if you just set them on fire, like in this case, he will still set you on fire, so... I'll be burning for a very long time, just because I'm on hard. Um, supposedly, zombies are supposed to be, like, more difficult to kill with arrows or something. I don't know. I didn't really read about that. Still seems the same. But, the skeletons, if you're too close to a skeleton, uh, they're gonna let you know that, because they will start shooting extremely fast. Well, that's pretty fast. Now let's change the difficulty. And it does actually slow down the farther away you get. I don't think they're more accurate, but... So, he's shooting at me pretty fast, and this will make it very difficult. Having a knockback on your bow... Oh, he dropped his bow. That's neat. Having a knockback on your sword, not bow, is actually going to make it quite... A bit more difficult and holy crap and on the rare occasion and I'll have to go back into MC edit to fix this but on the rare occasion with if you find a skeleton that has an enchanted bow if he has uh, like punch two and power two you will die it's pretty much a guarantee so I'll go into MC edit and spawn one and I'll be back Okay, so I spawned the skeleton, and yes, he has a pumpkin on his head, because it was supposed to be daytime when I did this, but whatever. So I have... Oh, wait, I'm in creative mode. So I have no armor on. Uh, I should actually give myself a chest plate, though. So a chest plate, no armor. I do have a bow, but I'm going to try and kill him with my diamond sword, and I probably won't end up killing him, but let's let's go. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, see there, there's that punch too. Oh my. This is going to be very difficult. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's basically impossible to kill. Oh, got him. So we dropped his bow, and I set it to do that. Wow, he's killed his bow. So yeah, punch two, power two. If you find a skeleton like that, you might want to avoid him. If you see him have a shining, a shining bow, just, yeah. And, um, one thing that is kind of good, I don't think that skeletons can pick up, uh, your stuff. They can still, of course I deleted that. They can still, uh, pick up, like, pumpkins and stuff like that. So he has a pumpkin, so he can pick stuff up. But I throw the bow on the ground, he doesn't. And if I throw the sword, he does pick it up. So, if you have a really good bow and you die by a skeleton, you don't have to worry about losing that bow because he shouldn't pick it up. So that's most of the changes. There has actually been a new uh, command block, but or not a new command block, a new command for the command block but I didn't really look into that I'm sorry I don't really use command blocks except this one right here obviously but if you really want to see it just watch like Seth Bling's video he goes over it as I'm pretty sure it's his first thing but that should be 
That should be all the changes for this. If I missed some, sorry. Oh, I did actually miss some. My bad. So, if this chest is on a detector rail and there's a, uh, a comparator on the outside, or outputting, then it will actually output a signal. I'm pretty sure it's it would be the exact same way as uh, it would work in a normal chest, so I just filled that up with a bunch of stuff, and it's a one, two, three, four. So I guess it's four, however many that is. I think that's it, hopefully. But I hope you like this, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do, and I will see you later. Bye.